Now, what are the steps? The first step is to register as a health establishment for notification. It can be done directly. The form is available on the nixshay.gov.in portal. Each registered health facility or establishment will receive the unique number for further correspondence. Now, we will see how to uh, do this. This is the home page of nixshay.gov.in. For the first time, any health facility you wants to register it can uh, enter the details and register the health facility. This will take just not more than 2 minutes and the process can be completed on this Nixshay portal. The form which is seen has bare minimum variable as what is the name of the health facility, what is the registration number, the MCI registration number, address and mobile number. It will not take more than 2 minutes and these are the mandatory fields for registration. This is with the way test sampling registration is done on the Nixshay portal. Once the health facility enters all these details, registration is done. There will be a message that the registration process is completed and the unique ID will appear on the screen. The unique ID that is uh, appearing on the screen at the end of the registration is the login ID for the health facility and the mobile number is the password. For all future logins and correspondence, this login ID and password can be stored and can be updated from time to time uh, once the registration is completed. So, after registration, there is one uh, uh, formality once it is submitted, it will go to the district TB officer's inbox for approval. The district TB officer will assign the tuberculosis unit. This is one small step that is added to facilitate time to time support from the district TB uh, officer through the tuberculosis unit. The tuberculosis unit is an administration unit or a health facility or usually at the block level on an average at 2 to 3 lakh population in the country. So, the district TB officer will ensure that which tuberculosis unit will be assisting the health facility for the notification purpose and the follow up actions subsequently. On completion, the SMS will be uh, sent to the registered mobile number to the practitioner or the health facility once it is approved and it does not take more than uh, 24 to 48 hours. The once approved, the district TB officer health facility will be able to, uh, health facility will be able to notify the patients both from the online portal as well as the mobile application. Now, once registered and the practitioner starts notifying TB cases, what are the roles and responsibilities of the public health staff? It is important that regular visits are undertaken by the public health staff to the private health facilities in their area of work to understand the requirement of notification as to what is convenient for them. Do they want to send it from by hard copy or they want to they are happy or ok with uh, the android application or is it ok that they can uh, uh, use it online portal or they want to use the call center in a toll free manner. So, first understand those requirements then facilitate notification if they are uh, uh, ok with only the hard copy then the staff has to go frequently and collect those hard copies and sensitize their staff as to what are the fields the definitions for TB notification. So, this is an important task of the public health staff. Another thing is to give the formats, the guidance tool, the mobile application, installing it onto the mobile uh, of the health facility or the practitioner, then collect, collect, collect and submit the TB notification reports to the district TB officers from time to time. Ensure that all TB cases notified by the health establishments are entered in Nixay if they are not directly reported from the Nixay portal or the android application. Then visit this TB patients notified by the health establishment in consultation with them. This is very important. It is sometimes assumed that the health staff is going to visit the patient unnecessarily uh, 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 without his convenience, but it is not so. The health public health staff has been sen uh, sensitized and trained to ensure that they visit the 
notified TB patients from time to time based on the convenience of the TB patient. Now, what are the actions by the health system after this notification? Once the information is available as per the convenience of the patient and only after the consent of the patient, first important thing is patient home visit. Then counseling of the TB patient and the family members which is equally important, treatment adherence and follow up support to ensure treatment completion which is usually lacking in the private sector. Patients who are treated by the private sector, they get the best of the diagnosis and treatment, but at the same time there is no system to track this patient to support them over a period of time in an active manner. So, this is one of the most important function of the public health staff to give them the treatment uh, adherence support follow up to ensure treatment completion. Then contact tracing, symptom screenings among the contacts, evaluation of the TB, TB symptomatics, offering INH chemo profile access to the eligible co uh, contacts is very, very important. Then offering HIV testing, because by policy globally all the TB patients are expected to be offered the TB HIV, uh, the HIV testing the drug susceptibility testing to diagnose or rule out the drug resistance if they are eligible. So, these are the actions which are required as a follow up of the TB notification. Now, the most important thing as we said TB notification has to be patient centric. So, what is the benefits to the TB uh, patients who have been notified by the private sector? First is access to free diagnosis and treatment. We all know that unless and until there is insurance, the patient being treated by the in the private sector has to pay for it from his pocket. But with this notification, there are certain components of diagnosis and treatment by policy currently the CBNAT or the gene expert available in the public sector has been offered, the access has been offered by policy to all patients being diagnosed in the private sector for few purposes and those are that includes DST for retreatment cases, follow up of positives, PLHIV, contacts of multidrug resistant TB cases, diagnosis of TB in children, PLHIV, extra pulmonary TB, diagnosis of TB among chest x-ray with any abnormality. So, these are the cases and these 628 machines are available now who can cater to and the access for diagnosis is available for the patients notified by the private sector. Similarly, for treatment, the whole country has recently shifted from intermittent regimen to daily regimen and fixed dose combination uh, anti TB treatment for first line drugs is available from the program to patients being treated in the private sector. The linkages are being established, they can avail the drugs from the public health facility or program can provide the drugs to the private practitioners or the program can provide the drugs through the chemist to all these patients being treated in the private sector and slowly it will be expanded across all the country. In some of the parts of the country, drugs being uh, sold in the market are being reimbursed and there is a plan of the program to expand and scale up these services across the country. The second and most important thing for completion of treatment is treatment adherence support system. Information technology has come to our help and there are methods available now that includes 99 dots where the patients taking the treatment just have to give a missed call on a particular number that appears after opening the spill. There are smart box, there are uh, uh, other systems that includes video DOT. These things are being scaled up and ICT based treatment adherence support will be extended, is being extended to the patients not only in public sector, but also in private sector. That also includes human interaction, social support, linking with social welfare schemes and a big call center as, a, as we discussed in the previous session. There are few sensitive issues about TB notification. Whenever we discuss, of course, there are certain things like confidentiality, 
that needs to be ensured also because the information that is collected on TV notification is stored electronically through the Nikshe portal on a centrally secured server in the national data center of national informatics center and this is as per the EHR and EMR policy of government of India. This is regarding the data security, but at the same time please be rest assured that the information about the TV notification is not shared outside the health system. Also the patient visit, the counselling is done only after that consent and the convenience of the patient, so that no unwanted unauthorized access about the, either the information or the patient home visit is made by any of the health staff. On one side notification is one starting point, but at the same time the aim is to have a larger partnership to ensure that the right actions are taken at the right place at the right time to support the efforts for diagnosis and treatment by the private sector to be supported by the public sector. This is not possible without partnerships and it is not just public patient uh, public private partnership, but it is a public private patient partnership in long run which will lead us to a state of art surveillance and TB control and elimination in future. Recently the government has also started incentives for the private providers, the numbers may look small that is 100 rupees on notification and 500 rupees on completion per patient to the private provider for each TB patient notified and treatment completed. But it is not a incentive per se, financial incentive per se, it is just a compensation of small amount of 1 or 2 minutes that is taken for notification by a busy practitioner and even the government is thinking of increasing it to around 1000 rupees per patient. Now what are the next steps in TB notification? In addition to the laboratories and the hospitals and the clinics which are expected to do TB notification, the government of India is planning to increase the coverage and reach by including the chemist and druggist to allow TB notification and implementation of schedule H1 which includes anti-TB drugs. Free diagnostics and free drug services are being expanded across the country not just in public sector, but for all TB patients in the private sectors if they are notified. ICT based treatment support services are planned to be scaled up for all TB patients. There are increased financial services to patients and providers as has been planned in the national strategic plan and which will be implemented from 2018 onwards. So what are the key messages? Notification of TB patients is mandatory, mechanisms for notification of TB patients are available, they are convenient, TB notification will benefit patients and surveillance will help in TB control and in long run TB elimination in future. Thank you.